Hi YouTube, this is Patrick and this is my review of True Blood Season 5, Episode 5. Um, I know there were some complaints last week that the two of us were really forgetful about certain things and um, we were given some advice to maybe take notes next time. Um, and let me say that, that that was a problem that because we didn't do any kind of outline or anything like that, we just kind of winged it. Um, but uh, also we were pretty drunk when we did it last week. Um, so I have good news and bad news about that. The good news is I actually did take notes. Um, and the bad news is that I will be drinking, but that's okay. Uh, so on to the episode. It was another strong one that actually got better as it went on. Um, and made me more excited for next week's. Um, which is another thing, and it made me kind of, you know, yell out a couple of times. Which is another thing that this show really hasn't made me do. Um, I can't even remember the last time I really did that. So let's get into it. Um, I'll deal with everything with Bill and Eric and all that stuff and Sookie and everything at the end. Uh, I'll start, I guess, where uh, it ended last week, which was kind of with uh, Jason and, um, and Andy. Uh, basically, a lot of people thought it was going to be some sort of memory, memory wipe. The, um, you know, little, the men in black, like, ray they shot at him. Um, but, uh, ended up being, like, kind of in between of, like, a memory wipe. And, um, I mean, they just kind of displaced them, pretty much. Uh, it, it took off their clothes and basically kind of put the seed in their head, or at least in Jason's head, the whole idea that his parents were killed by vampires um which is gonna let jason uh kind of have a better storyline this season than he's had in a while at least he has you know at least he's gonna be trying to figure out who did it like what vampire you know killed his parents or at least even if that's not the case he's gonna try to get you know try to figure out what happened that seems to be the theme of the season figuring out you know some some mystery about something everyone's got like a mystery going on and there's all these suspects and everything like that for everything. Um, but, yeah, also it was nice that him and Andy have a good, like, rapport. And they're, you know, again, Andy's a side character and they're treating him like one this season. Um, but, um, yeah, it, it's just, it's it's nice to see that they're not shitty, shitty cops. Um, it's nice to see that Andy's kind of pissed off about what, you know, about what happened because he's with Holly. So, um you know, it shows some maturity from uh, from him and from Jason, uh, this episode, that they were able to figure out the whole crime scene and everything like that. Um, so yeah, I like that stuff. Um, speaking of the, let's see if there's something else that I'm missing. Uh, no, that's pretty much it for them. Speaking of the, the crime scene, though, which is where I'll go to Sam, um, the whole stuff, you know, at first, you know, Sam's good, like, nothing but shit happens to Sam on this show. Um, and it gave him an excuse to go back to Luna, um, which again was nice. Usually on the show, they would just run into each other again at some point for no reason, just to get them back together again. Um, at least he had a purpose to go talk to her and tell her that, you know, these two characters are dead, something's going on, we don't know what. Um, and, uh, I gotta say, I was pretty surprised with what happened there because what, when Sam got there... It was kind of like, um, you know, I was like, oh, is he going to find out, she, you know, the daughter's a, a, a wolf and is, you know, is Luna going to apologize to him or not? Um, but uh, as the scene went on and she was just going to let him leave, I kind of thought in my head, that's pretty stupid. These things are going to come back. And then I figured like, oh, that's going to be like the cliffhanger. She's going to be like taken. That was not the cliffhanger. Sam just got shot. Uh, we know Sam's okay. But the thing with Luna, Luna came running out, and I thought for a second, oh, they're gonna, are they actually gonna kill someone? Then she gets shot in the arm, and I'm like, oh, of course. But then she got shot right, right in like the stomach. So now I'm not saying that I enjoy that Luna, you know, is gonna be dead if if she is gonna be dead, um, uh, you know, because she's she's hot and she seems pretty kind at least. And uh, but the thing is. This show cannot ask us to invest in characters if if these characters are just... If there's a possibility that these characters will not be there. We need that possibility on this show. That's something they've been missing. And if Luna's gone, which, you know, 
for the show's sake, I hope she is. Um, personally, I'd like to see her week in, week out, but still. Um, also, it establishes these new assholes as, like, a threat right away. I don't know, we don't know a thing about these guys. They got weird, you know, whatever masks on, but they just did something. We know that. We know, we saw what they did, and it wasn't, you know, it wasn't some bullshit. You know, they just killed one of the characters on the show. Um, again, this would be undone if she ends up living, so. But, um, we'll see with that stuff. Uh, let's see if there's something else. Uh, no, let's go on to Terry, who, Terry got a lot more screen time this week than he had before. Um, I like that his story is separate, um, only for the sake that his story feels less important than the rest of everything that's going on, at least for now. At least it seems like the show understands it's less important. I know people, like, can't, don't even think he deserves a storyline at all, and I agree with you. Uh, at least he's held at gunpoint. At least, you know, there's, like, a, some kind of drama going on with it. Just have to write it out. Uh, I'm not too happy there's another, like, supernatural thing going on. Um, the, it's kind of understandable while he has, while, why he was so, like, you know, fucked up the first couple of seasons because of what happened. Um, at least that kind of question was answered. Um, but I, you know, I don't need another smoke monster in another show. Um, you know, I got enough of that on Lost, Game of Thrones, you know, had a shadow baby. And, uh, now we got this guy. And, um, I really don't know what it's going to amount to. It looks like it's, you know, the whole situation with, uh, Patrick not believing him is going to end next week. That the thing, at least Patrick will be able to see it. So, uh, I'm talking about the character. I'm not talking to the third person. Um, so at least that'll move on and move fast. Fast enough, I guess. At least they'll have to try to figure out how to beat it. Which I think is actually going to tune into what's going on with Lafayette. And I'm, this is a complete guess. Lafayette this week had a really didn't do much. It was more actually more funny than anything. He was stomping on a bunch of religious things that were dancing in front of him, uh, that were yelling as they were getting stomped on. And the 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 Jesus head was pretty damn funny. I hope they didn't. I hope they didn't want that to be like horrifying because I thought it was hilarious. Um, also, I like that Ruby D is back. Um, she was in the uh, the hospital. Uh, so he's going to talk to her next week and try to figure out what's going on. I'm saying I think that storyline is going to link up with what's going on with Terry. Or at least Lafayette's going to be needed to take out the smoke monster, Belrog thing, whatever it is that's going on with Terry. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure. I, I'm, just, I, I, I'm not pretty sure. I'm guessing. Completely guessing. I have no fucking clue. Um, but just to link stuff together, which the show's been doing much better this season. So I hope that's kind of where it goes. Uh, let's see. Okay, Tara continues to be a lot of fun, and I hope she does not change her wardrobe for the rest of the season, unless she just wears nothing. Um, sorry. But, uh, yeah, Tara is just fun with every scene she's in with Pam, all the stuff with Jessica. It was a nice scene with her and Jessica to actually just kind of talk. Um, also, thank you, director, and having the camera just move closer and closer to them. Uh, back and forth, but uh, again, it was just a nice, like, well-written, well-done scene. Um, the second Hoyt came up there, Tara actually made Hoyt, like, not boring, uh, even with this fucking pop collar, Ta you know, still. It was, um, it was, because I saw, like, uh, you know, this is going to end badly for him, and then I figured, like, oh, this is going to turn around, and, you know, Jessica's going to be pissed off. And so I thought I was seeing stuff going that's going to happen next week or the week after. It happened this episode, which, again, is good. Um, she was um, she was feeding off of Hoyt. Jessica was not, was not happy about it. Started a little cat fight. That will continue next week. Um, also, you know, next week they didn't have to ruin the with the preview, basically showing us that the fight will be broken up. Pam's going to be annoyed with her. Uh, Jessica's going to talk with Hoyt about it. And then we're going to see Hoyt is going to be, like, some other person, not Jessica, is going to be biting Hoyt. And those assholes are going to be showing up. The ones that shot Luna are going to shoot the vampire, and his blood's going to be all over Hoyt. That's what we saw in the preview. Um, I was kind of wishing they wouldn't show that. But, um, again, it's just, at least we know that those guys that shot Luna are actually are pretty much just going to be shooting all the, like, supernatural things on the show. Um... But still, I don't know why they had to 
spoil that that whole like part of it i would have liked to not seen any of like you know they just could have shown us jessica and tara fighting next week again they didn't have to show us anything else but whatever um let's see yeah that's it for all that stuff i'll just get on to the main stuff um the opening was funny uh, i felt really bad for alice it was just like you know I mean, look, it was pretty much over when she threw up on her shoes anyway, but um, having Bill and Eric stand there was just insult to uh, to insult, I guess. Um, at least they mentioned it later on in the episode. At least Sookie said, you want to talk about me throwing up in your shoes? And he just said no. So at least it wasn't, like, left off, um, you know, for next week. Um, but, uh, yeah, the whole road show to go get Russell. I like how the characters in the show are kind of handling things. Like, Sookie just basically says, no, let's go get him now. Um, and just kind of coming to terms like nothing's going to be the same. And uh, she's really becoming more bent out of shape about everything. Um, which, again, is different than, than normal for her. Usually she's just, like, crying all the time and just, like, you know, swooning after Bill or Eric. At least, you know, at least something different's going on. And she was smart to kind of know, like, my little, she called it her microwave fingers, um, would be able to maybe protect them. Um, and the whole thing with them... Um, with Bill and Eric were getting the, uh, their eye stakes, like, you know, they were told they were going to go off at, like, dawn. That, it didn't, like, make me think, like, you know, didn't really have suspense, but at least made me think that at least they're going to get to Russell, you know, in this episode. Um, which, again, is great. Uh, and they did. And the, the whole thing with them going to, you know, some, like, spooky old mental hospital, like, it's, you know, it's a setting works. One second. Sorry, Rob's calling me. Yeah, I'm making the uh, True Blood video. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of him, instead of him, instead of him sitting right here, he's on the phone with me. I'm not gonna put him on speaker though, because I don't think we'll be able to hear him. Uh, one second. One second. All right, you're on speaker. Hopefully you heard what he said. No, he hung up on me now. All right, hopefully that wasn't useless. We'll find out. Anyway, um, yeah, so I have no idea what I was saying. All right, yeah, so eventually they get to, uh, to Russell, uh, finally, after a bunch of episodes. Um, and uh, that threw me out of whack. I'm trying to think what I was saying now. Um, yeah, anyway, you know, Sookie finding out that... Um, it was a uh, member of the authority that helped. Uh, we all knew that. They seem to be making us want us to think that it's Nora, which is obviously making us think that it was uh, Salome, um, who was pointed out in comments a couple of weeks ago. Um, someone was trying... Um, I, I was told this week that it might be Pam because of what Pam said to Tara. I originally thought, hey, not a bad idea. It would be a fun twist. Um, but I don't think that's the case anymore. Um, so I think it's pretty much definitely, uh, Salome. Um, I know it cut away to them with the authority where they're basically, you know, trying to undermine all the beliefs and they're just trying to go about things their own way, where it seems that what they're going to do, maybe. Um, we'll see next week with Roman. Um, but anyway, we got to Russell and, um, fucking, uh, yeah, it was nice to see him, you know, after all this time. And it looks like he lost, uh, at least for the show, he lost weight to make himself look, you know, kind of sickly and everything like that. So that was pretty good. Um, and I, I, I really look forward. I was pissed off when the show ended. It ended at, like, 9.50. I was like, what the fuck? Um, and I knew Alice was in the background, so I knew something was going to happen. Uh, to him, at least, because he was in the background and, you know, there was no one behind him. But I missed it, and I thought he just fucking, like, tripped or something like that. At least the preview showed that he got dragged away by something. Um, and the preview also showed, like, Russell... Uh, again, it kind of spoiled things. You could put shit together with the preview that the, it showed Russell, like, going up to Sookie. Uh, but then it showed Russell was at the, you know, authority next week. So apparently her microwave fingers are going to work, or something's going to save her. Um, but, yeah. So, uh... 
I am looking forward to next week. Uh, I'm glad Russell's back in play. Um, yeah, it's you know it's a lot of fun. I hope that they just continue to do exactly what they're actually they hyped up next week's episode. They put a long like featurette on um, after it, and um, you know usually HBO doesn't hype something up unless they think they've got something. So um, yeah, we'll see next week. But uh, all right. Until then, I shall see you guys next week. I'll be reviewing Breaking Bad next week also, uh, which means this for True Blood might not go up Sunday night because I could probably do Breaking Bad first considering it's the premiere. Um, but, um, yeah. But anyway, see you guys next week.